Live, eight five six. Okay. We are here for another episode of the Opinionated Podcast, man. What's going on, fellas? What up? What's up? What's goody yeah. in the hoodie? It's goody in the hoodie. Like it's, it, listen, I hate dating podcasts. Y'all know I do, but it's it's the month of October and Halloween is coming up, man. And you know, it's time for you know kids to go trick or treating, but it's also that time of year where adults like to go have these Halloween parties and we go get these Halloween costumes. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, all the ladies want to come out as that sexy witch, the sexy nurse, you know, the sexy ghost or whatever. A sexy ghost is crazy. So, yeah, they, you know, whatever. Sexy, or the mummy or whatever. <laughs> whatever. The, 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 the Egyptian princess. A sexy mummy. Hey, you know, hey, listen. I love it 21, all. 21, 22, some of y'all might have that. Uh, you can pull that shit the fuck off. Right. Now... This is for my middle aged people. Yo, are we live? Yes, yeah, we are live. live too. Yes. Yeah, I'm, I know. Sorry, yeah, we going good live. Good job. But I'm sorry. But I like going live. Yeah, y'all, y'all can talk. Oh, be careful. Whatever. But they go. <laughs> they come out in these sexy witch costumes. These middle aged women, and you still think you got it at 22. Dang I feel it. as I feel as though you got them 40 years old. I look at that shit. I said, look, she got a couple of stretch marks. Marks over there. She had a few kids. Yo, you said at twenty two. Are you saying in the year two thousand twenty two? Or you? What do you mean? At the age of twenty two. The age of twenty two. You might have still had it. That shit was probably still tight. Maybe no babies. Maybe one baby came out. That motherfucker ain't damaged the goods too bad. Now you had two or three of them motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? And then you ain't been doing your sit ups. <laughs> Going to bed, yeah, eating a ho- doing your sit-ups. Going to bed, eating a ho-ho or little Debbie's at night every night before you go to sleep. Nigga, how about a hoagie? Nigga said a ho-ho. That I too. was going to say hoagie. Oh, all right, hey, I see the motherfuckers slap a hoagie, man, and next thing you know, that sexy witch costume, you know, you used to buy that shit in the medium. Now you been, now you ask the nigga at the Halloween store, you got a 3X back there, 2X or a 3X back there. <laughs> 3X oh, which sounds like a women, fire, fire rap. came in these women, dog. Let me get I that 3X switch. I don't give. Hey, listen. I remember, I, listen, I remember I had bought a costume. I had bought the, uh, the camp, it was like a, a nerd, like I was a nerd at a camp. It's called Camp Boner or some shit. And it had like a fake boner with the K with the costume. No dead ass. It's not even trying to be funny. How old were you got, when you did this? I was like 20, 26, 26 when I did it. I got the pictures. Well, I put the walking pictures around up. providing the, the boner, huh? I was walking oh, out with a fake got boner. The nerd boner. And it was like, nah, nigga, I'll nigga, get a fake boner. I got this. I was going through the party. People say girls were taking pictures with me. They were slapping the boner. It's fake. So it was like, you know what I'm saying? It was funny. It was a fun thing to do at the time. But it's like, at that time, I think I was kickboxing. I was in the gym. I was. Oh, you was, oh, you was kickboxing. Oh, huh? yeah. I was kickboxing at that time. I was more doing Muay Thai at the time. So I'm I'm in shape, dude. I'm like, I'm fit. Like, I'm ready to fight. That's the body I had. Now, if I try to get that costume right now, man. You just look like a pervert. Oh, I look like yes. a pervert. I look like a straight fucking pedophile. <laughs> this shit, this is fat, nasty nigga right here in this costume. That's what I'm going to look like. Try to talk nasty to these three year olds, let him smack his ding a ling. Nah, they ain't going to holler the at me. That's the weird part for me. That's the weird part. They, yeah. ain't gonna ho- they not going to holler at me with that bot. It's like, I feel ain't like no choice. whispering in their ear. Smack it. I wasn't whispering in their ear, but I'm saying, smack like, it. Bro. I ain't got that bod, that middle aged bod. Like that shit is just on. That shit is on a. We on the decline if you ain't been taking care of yourself, man. Yes. And yes. Yeah. As a guy in my forties, I can appreciate the shit. Oh, you wait, wait, wait. That, what do you mean, your own or like seeing like um like the woman? I see, I see others. Some, some, okay. some, okay. some, some, some. You can appreciate. You can yeah. see the little the little tummy. You like, oh, that shit's sexy. Yes. I yeah. seen one yesterday, I man. I seen some that is like, hey, yo, man, come on. For real? Like, for real. I seen a chick yesterday. At, we was at the wine festival. My mom hit me because my mom was there. She's like, you see this shit? I'm like, what you talking about? <laughs> she like, look at this shit right here. I look. Not only did she have the belly beads, the halter top, 
but she had her stomach tucked in her tights. And usually when they had a stomach tucked in their tights, it's like a loose stomach. So it was like, you know, it was a, you can see it's loose. This chick had one of them hard ass, like beer belly, like I'm pregnant, but I'm like, I know this motherfucker is body shaming. Too old. I don't give a fuck. I'm body shame. I that body shaming shit is just something some some motherfucker with a bad body who came up with who don't like to work out. That's that's <laughs> they came up with that shit. They just made that shit. I was like, I'm never going to the gym. So if you talk about my body, it's body shaming. Like it's cool. Everybody likes everything. Everything. Yo, there's somebody from everybody in this fucking world. I got, I got I cousins. Got, I got cousins, man. If you ain't two something, we they they tell you straight up. If you ain't two something, we can't do something. That's they. That's they line. I got motherfuckers I know. We like, yo, and she they skinny, right? Hey, yeah, skinny, skinny little motherfuckers. They always like, yo, she got at least be two fifty, over two fifty. It got to start at two fifty. She she can't be under two fifty. I ain't even two fifty. Yo, That's man, crazy. I don't know. I think it's like, yo, so, so my mom hit me, though. She tapped me. I'm looking at this shit. I'm like, yo. I mean, she, she had, no, listen, she was, co- hey, it was, in the, it was niggas probably looking. It's all squared up in the back like SpongeBob shit, you know, because that's the thing I don't understand. What happens to they ass in the processes where they get their stomach? They never, like, had, they never had it. That's so it's just, it's it's all it's all about where the fat goes too. Like where you gain where you gain your fat. A lot of people gain their fat up top. They don't gain their fat down bottom. Like me. Why they right? thighs all don't the fat get is up here? They thighs don't get bigger. They hips don't get even with they hips don't. It's like it's like these little ass legs that don't belong. But then you got this shit up top. Yeah. That's that's how people a lot of people gain their weight. The other ones they was thick already. Like you gotta laugh at that though. Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, some that get like that, you can understand. <laughs> you look at that shit, you be like, all right, you know what I'm saying? They get they just get keep getting thicker. It's some that like is already a little big and the shit just got out of hand, but some get thicker. They get the big, they get them big thighs, they kneecaps. The kneecaps is over swollen. He's like, all right, you know, she got the hips and the big old ass. She's like, all right, cool. That's cool. Listen, little titties, but still got the gut. You can see the gut there, but the ass is like overshadowing the gut. So you like, you know what? I could work with that. I don't even, I don't even mind lifting that poop up. Be, being, you know? being proportioned is more. Yeah. yeah. So it's like, yeah, you could be bigger, but proportioned, it makes it makes it make sense. Yeah. It's, you're saying you're with the ones that are disproportionate from the top of the one what about oh, the ones that are disproportionate on the bottom can't like it like oh. that yeah I, I do if it ain't too crazy i seen some <laughs> that they i seen some they ass is just too fucking they ass is just too big bro. They ass is just it's just like why does that scare you it's just man it's just man it's like man I, what can you do you, you man listen you got that was a great explanation you gotta have at least about 14 inches to get to that. They even they even get the tip in. It just dies everywhere. You man, you doing a lot of moving shit around to get to that motherfucking box. That's part of you the doing, man. You doing a lot of moving. You like, man. Pull nasty legs up. in your palms. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What? Pull Nigga, that shit in your spread. That shit melting melting in your palm. That shit just melting through your face. Tips, you just hold shit up, man. Listen, man. I... <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't get what I'm saying. You grabbing that shit, the cushion just steady coming through your hand. I get you got... what you're saying. I get <laughs> what you're saying. <laughs> get... You with a memory foam. You touch it like a memory foam mattress. You like, sheesh. Do you prefer them with a little bit of a um, a little bit of wear and tear, though? Like you know, as as time goes on, it's like now nah, you don't want the little tight. You want the, you know, like the, looks like they've been through something. Looks like they've been through a couple yeah, they, uh, they, children. They need to be, they, they titties need to look like they seen life. They body need to look like seen life. I'll be looking at some of these young girls now that be all skinny and, and, and shape. And I'll be like, eh, it looks all right. It, it like, it like, all right, it looks good. Cause you kind of used to it like, it looks all right. Okay. But I, I do need a body to look like it been through a couple of wars. Like it been through a couple of C-sections maybe here and there, a couple of babies, you know, some stress eating. I need that shit. I, I need, think I, I dig it. I dig it. You get what I'm saying? I, 
think like when I was 20, when I was 20, I was younger, it's like, yo, all right, cool. The skinny body, the, the petite, that was the thing. The 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 tit either the big titties or the big ass. So, you know what I mean? It, that was cool. But now it's like, yo, you you, you your body gotta look like it been through something. It gotta look, look like it had a couple babies. I think you like to feel that softness when you grab them. You don't want to grab something. I don't mm. want to grab something too firm nowadays, dog. I don't want to grab something that's she can't it's just work too out. F- you can work out, but don't I I I, I don't want to be laid up to a nigga look like they can like they can go a couple of rounds in the WWE. I I, I don't, man. I, I just don't. You want a soft woman when you touch her. I, where was I? I was somewhere a while back and I grabbed the motherfucker. This is a long time. Long, I don't long, want to be long, wherever long. you were at. Long, 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 long time ago. Long, 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 long time ago. Man, I don't want to be where you're and, at. <laughs> and my man, he picked the one joint. She was a she was a smaller joint, the little petite one. And he, you know, he think he doing me a disservice, giving me the bigger girl. When I grabbed the motherfucker, motherfucker was like, oh, it was so soft. It was like grabbing. Like grabbing a, a cloud or something or some shit like that. I was like, God damn, this big motherfucker soft. I soft like this. I know what this shit feel like. Like I know what this shit gonna feel. Like. I don't even fuck this motherfucker little on the big side. This motherfucker soft. Like I know if I ever get tired and go to sleep on this nigga, I'm gonna get the best sleep in my motherfucking life when I lay my head down on her because she's just so soft. You, you come on, man. I'm the only nigga that feel like that. There's other reasons. I don't think that's the <laughs> only reason you pick the most disgusting fucking reason in the way they explain it. I would I would much rather say it's just, you know, it's, it's better to hug on. It's better to, you know what I mean? Like, you get a little bit more, you know, love. And that that's what I'm saying. But you you, you went a whole nother way with it, buddy. Nah, I'm terrible. Y'all know, y'all know, you, I, y'all know I'm terrible. Like, my mindset is terrible. Like, I get I get that once I get to know you. But when we at the beginning, it's got to be, that's first. You soft, baby. You soft. She, bro, I, I just grabbed him. I was like, oh, shit. That's the first thing I said. So, oh, shit. This nigga, What'd she say? Do- get off me. No, she didn't tell me get off. She didn't tell me get off. We just have a, She ain't never. She was a. She was a white girl, so she probably, you know, you know, white y'all, white dudes, y'all, white, my white brothers, y'all, we oh, fat bitch. Y'all disrespecting my saying that. Just, just coming out the roof, y'all disrespecting my saying that. Nigga, look at that shit. God, God damn, you big soft motherfucker. What the white dude saying? You, fat, fat bitch, you know, dude, you dude, dude, fucking, fucking a fat. Why are you fucking a fat chick, bro? Like, you know what I mean? Stick. Man, listen, hit a big chick. You see, it's a I'm gonna it, be honest, bro. I think, it, it mind up. I think times have changed. I think the world is embracing that. That's why they all going to get uh fake, <coughs> fake butts and fake everything anyway. I think the world has changed, even for the white men. I think the white men oh want a little bit more to a woman now. Have, have you ever touched a fake ass before? No, I haven't. Oh my gosh. <laughs> bro, imagine grabbing and there's different arm. and there's different procedures just to let you know. I know it's probably what I grabbed one before. It's like grabbing an armrest on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> like there's enough gig to it, like a little soft, but that shit hard. It's like grabbing an armrest on the couch. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you can get many different armrests. <laughs> nah, nigga, I'm talking about an old couch at your grandma's. One of them old couches that been here for a while. You grab that armrest, and that armrest is stiff. Like you ever hear it? it's stiff, but it got a little softness, but it's still you can feel that motherfucker firm. It was just oh, it turned me off. Girl was like, oh, I got my ass to feel it. When wait, wait, all right. When did this happen? Yeah, please. Uh, like, what did this happen, dog? You're like we me. was just at we was just we was at a club. We had went out that night. We uh, was like we went out. We was drinking. Like it was a it was a crowd of us. We all went out drinking, have a good time, and we just chilling, talking, and we all just talking. So Shorty was like, oh, yeah, I got my ass on you. I'm like, oh, wow, you did. He just was telling you? Because yeah. I knew the motherfucker. I knew the motherfucker. I know her, and I knew the motherfucker always had a pancake. The motherfucker squared up in the back. It's just the whole back ass combination. All that shit just matched. It just went. You wear a romper. Ain't no romp in the romper. Um, so she was like, I got my ass done. And she was like, here, you got to feel it. Like it was something to be felt. Nigga, okay. I grabbed this shit. It was just, it was firm. It was net. It didn't feel 
it didn't feel like a butt supposed to feel. It was just hard. <laughs> like, how's a butt supposed to feel? Come on, you, you, you know. Come on, Come on. you grab. You never grab the big booty, and you like, oh man, like you grab, and you like, oh, you just. It's like that's it's how like, it's supposed to feel. Nah, it feels it. like you, oh, man. you know, oh, you know what it no, I'm gonna tell you how I feel. Which I do I'm understand. You, no, listen, yes. listen, listen, <laughs> let me tell you how I feel. Tell you how I feel. So I, let me explain this shit to you. Remember the dodgeballs they used to give you in kindergarten, like the little soft nerf dodgeball when you grab that shit and you can just grab it and it was soft. It was that little nerf feeling, like the soft nerf feeling, like it ain't supposed to hurt nothing. That was that's what I asked supposed to feel. That softness that you can squeeze it almost like a a phone, a, a pillow. But if you go <laughs> grab you a fucking old school Nerf yeah, ball, this, oh, real quick, this nigga is disgusting, bro. <laughs> you, grab you, old, you grab an old, you grab an old. Her ass <laughs> felt, her ass felt like a Nerf ball left out in the sun too long. <laughs> like, we felt like, we feel like, like the, the red kickballs we used to get back the in the red. Days. red yeah, no, you felt like the red. Was, no, you ever feel like an old Nerf ball that just been left in your grandma yard forever and that shit just got stale and ain't even, <laughs> ain't even got the game to it no more? That shit just feel rough when you grab it. It just, it lost all its softness to it. It was yeah, just bad. It was like terrible, man. Ball. You know, all right. It so you terrible, know that, man. You, that you might feel that part, right? And you get the, oh, man. Oh. What do you think? What do you think is the opposite? What do you think is the woman's, like when they feel something on us that makes them say, oh, man, what do you think? And what don't we keep in shape? Our bellies, man. We let her. I think they, they, be, feeling, they be feeling on your nah, belly. Nah, they love their belly. I think the man breasts. When you get to nasty, soggy titties, and your titties look like your lady's titties, you should think about maybe getting some, like, some, uh, what's that shit? Some hormone and, you know, some some testosterone injections or something. Yeah, that don't like, help you that. should. It yeah, will help it. It helps the testosterone. If you start losing testosterone, your testosterone helps remove your titties. It don't help, but it makes you don't make you look like a female no more. I see niggas that got got whole chick titties, like they just tit. I'm like, yo, man, how can you let your how can you let your chest get that bad that you got these breasts? Like I seen big dudes who, who work out <laughs> that are big dudes, but they work out, but they still got a they still got a chest, like they still got a man's chest. And I see niggas who let it go when these niggas' titties is just off to the side. And it just, <laughs> I think that right there is like disgusting. Know. Yeah, so I, I don't know. think, like, I look at my shit like, yo, let me do some push ups. Like, I'd be yeah. damned if my titties gonna be looking like, you know what I mean? Well, how, wait, wait, wait. All right, all right. Come on, man. No, I want you to I keep going. I thought you were about, so, about to ask him, how do your titties look? Well, I was gonna <laughs> say, no, no, no. I was gonna say, how many fingers we talking? That the that the man city flops over, like how many? Because I might have a finger or two on mine. No, I think no, just one, just one. I, how many? Fingers I don't think underneath? you I, you you to qualify well, if as a you man get titty. to two two to three fingers going over your titties. If you got two fingers, you titty can go hey, over yo. at least two fingers. You're done. <laughs> it's hey, a yo. wrap for you, man. Hey, yo, nah, I nah, fuck you. all that. Fuck all no. that, dog. I don't even got one. My shit sitting on top of my finger ain't dripping over. My I shit, keep trying it, to it push up. It is on top of my shit. Hold on. It is yeah, on top. yeah, I'm yeah. You know what I'm saying? Show me nigga, we <laughs> look, look, nigga, check it. Can't check it. It's sitting on the low. Look, that's why I look at that way. <laughs> and it's camera. And look at check it. It's sitting. Look at two fingers. I'm trying to, I got my whole hand down. I'm trying to figure out. This isn't that how y'all, this back in the day, that's how we used to measure a one, like female. Oh, oh, you can put your whole hand in. If you can put your whole hand in it, it's wow. Hell no. She she too open. Now y'all gonna have women measuring niggas. <laughs> Come here. Let me see if you right for me. You got two fingers and oh, you got the whole hand. Nah, I see. can't even see my I can't even see my fingers, or I can I'm see all my fingers. Like, yo, but a woman looks at a man's chest like if you got a big broad, think about it. They say a if big a broad man, chest. And you put your, and you put a, your hand you. there and your titty flop over your whole hand. Yeah, you got problems. that. Is crazy. you're a woman? No, you're you a woman. Grab them <laughs> shit and go like this. Yes, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I, but I see niggas like that. Like niggas, you can't even. Niggas, you standing with the skin, with the skinny jeans, thinking they I fuck a nigga up. Like yo, you not fucking nobody well, up with the no, you man had a nigga with titties beat you up before. No, you definitely had a nigga with titties beat you up before. No, no. You sure? 
No, I ain't never let niggas no titties beat me up. Dog. It's a nigga with titties in jail that just be beating niggas the fuck up. Nah, like, like, even them, it. even them niggas still be tied up. Tight. Like, yo, it's some niggas. Yo, you can't let like they got big arms. Like I see niggas that get like they they arms get skinny, but they got like this big gut and man titties with these little puny ass arms. I'm like, yo, who are you protecting? You have to have a gun with you. You are talking crazy to a nigga hey, with yo, guns. Having skinny arms as a man with big titties, and you put your arm, you cross your arms, and then your titties sit on top of your arms. They skinny. I mean, they just <laughs> they skinny arms. Like yo, it's just. <laughs> I think that I think that's I think that's bad, man. If your gut sit in your motherfucking lap. All right, bro. Now, now no, you're, now you're no, be real. I don't like it. Your gut don't. Your gut don't sit in your lap, Dre. You don't. You still. No. It don't, yeah. it don't, it don't. But still, I seen the video. It was a funny video. Raheem sent me this video. Oh, so just two skinny I, niggas talking shit about nah, fat people? Nah, nah, I'm fat too. But listen, I know this video. Y'all gonna like? Are you going? Dre gonna hit me? Okay, Kevin. No, but this is the video. This is a legit video. He sent me. He's, dude, I guess it was a porn. Little skinny ass white chick on the bed. The nigga had to lift his stomach up and throw it on this chick's back to get some buns. You you're done. It? No, you're done in life. He apparently isn't done because he's nah, making he's... porn where he's picking his stomach up and putting it on her back. That's a body that. He's using that's his my... stomach to control the flow. That's that's cool, man. Like, as <laughs> long, long as you cool with mockery porn, you're good in life. I can't even knock your hustle. You're doing mockery porn. You're mocking you know, yourself. Stinking everything. Oh, my gosh. But I, I, that's what I'm saying. Like, Ugh. Yeah, like, I know I'm letting my body go. Kevin, like Kevin. I know my body's like I try yeah. to stay in the gym as much as I can, but yeah. I know I got to be better at it. But I don't want to get to. The, I just don't want to get to the point where your girl just look. When your girl starts looking over at you and she's not gonna tell you the truth. She's not. Yo, she don't gotta tell you the truth. The truth is, is her huffing and puff like, like <laughs> right before some, sex. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, okay, but hurry up. <laughs> if it's never exciting like that's usually said here and there when they're tired but if that's said every single day every single time you have sex you got to really think about how you're living your life and what you eat you should go in the kitchen throw the oreos in the trash stop eating shit like real like start taking care of your body like it's okay that like to have a full I'm, I'm 40 it's it's okay to have that middle aged body, not saying it's bad. You never so. going. You can't, dog. If only, like, like, look at um Hulk Hogan when he was like sixty. Hulk Hogan was still in shape, yep. but the nigga looked sixty. Yes, you get what I'm saying. It's okay to have that type of shit. Well, it's not okay to to look like like Donald Trump. Like that nigga looks pathetic. His body looks pathetic. Mm-hmm. It's pathetic. Like <laughs> him and Vince, how many, many fingers you think he got? How many that fingers? Nigga, that nigga got two. That nigga probably got two hands. That nigga probably put <laughs> hand, hand back to back. Look, there's a Trump supporter right now with his hat on. It's all in the comments, ready to go ahead. You know, oh. know nothing about my president. <laughs> his boobs are amazing. <laughs> this man, breasts are great. <laughs> Did he make America great again? Like, I just think like. Wow, I think you should like you crazy. should you should start to like like as a man like look bro I ain't gonna lie I got on the scale man my shit said two seventy nine almost two eighty damn nigga I had this I had to step okay. I had to step back yeah. like yo I have to do something <laughs> I'm almost three hundred pounds like I'll be damned yep if so I'm gonna be three hundred pounds you hear what I'm saying I've been there that's why I'm, I'm I empathize I've been there where you like. Well, you look at that. You look at that. That weight on that scale. I'm like, okay. I Not think cool. a, ch- I think a chick like if, I think a chick if you was a hundred, or 120 pounds in high school, you should really start to look at yourself when you hit that 250, 260 mark. You should start to say, yo, I got to do something. Let me at least get down to 200. But if you was already for your help, if you was already 200 in high school. Then I think your mark should be like 300. You get the 300s, like, yo, let me get down to 250. Like, I was 200 in high school. 
let me at least get down to 250. That is, uh, at my age, that's a respectable weight that my life is not in danger because how overweight I am. Okay. No, uh, but anybody you gotta... do not listen to him about that particular scale. That is fucking ridiculous. You should not be 250 pounds uh -huh. if you were 200 pounds in fucking high school. You need to so get once you be below that the at a healthy weight. Like 210? Like if they never was no a the scale, there's a scale of how tall you are yeah. to how much you're supposed to but be. But if you been in high you, school, you was overweight in high school. The fuck are you talking about? But I'm saying <laughs> there's some people that <laughs> could just never get in high school, you can get 50 more pounds in 10 years. I don't think no no, I don't <laughs> but think no about the, but think about in high school. You was doing a, you was a lot more active in high school. You didn't have a car, you was walking everywhere. I don't like like come on, man. I gotta be realistic with people. I'm not gonna fuck I that's still understand that's still that these all these health you're still unhealthy. I, okay, uh, it's still unhealthy, but let's be real, like. At least get that shit somewhat close. All right, at least get to like okay, I say two ten. At least get close to your high school weight. You want to get always get back close to your high school weight. Cause this is the way you've been dealing with your whole life. I can't look at a person that yeah. say they've been two two hundred their whole life and say, oh, all of a sudden you're gonna be one fifty. Like you really never took care of yourself from the beginning. <laughs> so it's it's really about um how much muscle you have on you as well so all of that yeah. changes and that's why i say just be as healthy as you can rather than come up with the weight because I mean, being 200 yeah. in high school and then say yo you should just be too fit that's fucking crazy that's a crazy statement how do y'all feel about the women tucking their stomach and their tights y'all love that i feel like they should just i think they should just let it out i like them just to just let it go over top no, sometimes of no sometimes it calls for it yeah Oh my! I, I the outfit calls for it. Sometimes I, I don't <laughs> mind if if you let your stomach go over over your tights. I can respect that. I really can. I think it's like more of a comfortable thing for them. Like it may it may no help. nigga. I, I gotta work out better. Some people don't, and some people it may help that help that shirt look regular compared to what it would look like. Correct. If it wasn't out, you know what I mean. Man, not every not just cause, just because you like your kid don't mean they're comfortable with it. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. Because I just look at it like this. I knew if I took my gut and threw a belt around my stomach, I'd be out of right. breath. I'd be out of breath. No, but we came around you know, looking like that. Shit, <laughs> we're going to have to fry your ass up. Yo, but you, you, you tall, so your belly be coming to you be coming to, <laughs> Yo, but you see dudes, you ever see the white dudes got their stomach tucked in their fucking pants? I'm like, yo. Hey, how big is your stomach and how big is these fucking jeans? Where did yeah. you get these jeans from? It's a you got person. 22 Yo. on your jeans. Look at that cat with his jeans above his waist <laughs> on his stomach with a belt tied. That shit hanging down. Long ass legs. <laughs> long, the belt has to be long as hell. <laughs> nigga, <laughs> nigga come out there threatening to beat his ass with the same uh. belt. I really, <laughs> nigga, I really be paw at that time, nigga. That, that's a paw move right there. Like, <laughs> like nigga, nigga, like, you can't go off. Nah, I'm just saying, like, oh I, my gosh. I, I just wanted, like, I think at the 35, you should be, like, trying to take care. I don't maintain your body somewhat, at least not for your health wise. Like, maintain, at least try to get close to high school weight as close as possible. With doing the exercise and eating a little bit healthier, and and if you are a bigger person, I mean, you you just are. It's just it's just no way around it. It's just you know you was always big. You was big since you was a kid. You you know what I mean. But long as your doctors are not saying, hey, uh, you know what, this weight is putting strain on. Yeah, this weight this weight is putting strain on your heart. Um, you keep you keep going at this pace. You pretty much shortening your lifespan. Like you, you're not gonna have, live a long life. Like you should. Most fat people don't go to do so. Yeah, because I I think man, I, I hate. But she she should be catching flack now. That motherfucker Lizzo man, she lied to a lot of chicks, bro. Like you, it's what okay. What she told? Oh, oh you, big and beautiful. Yo, it's okay to be big and beautiful, but be big and healthy. Get what I'm saying? Be All big right. and healthy. No, I'm serious. I can agree with that. I can agree with that. I was waiting for you to say something crazy, but no. Nah, I was going to See, y'all niggas always, when I say something crazy, y'all want to cut the episode You off. just talked about <laughs> how we known you for so long. This is the shit we expect from you. Now. Correct. Oh, no. Nah, Lizzo, big, yes. big, 
that big grimace looking motherfucker, man. Like she just lied to a lot of people. Like I don't like how that motherfucker hey, lied yo. to people. Like she should have been keeping a G. Hey, yo. Hey, nigga, hey, I, yo. I can I can say you're correct. Yes, if you're gonna be big and beautiful and celebrate oh, okay. and big and healthy. <laughs> Nah, this bitch, healthy. this bitch yes. is doing photo shoot, eating a whole oh, gallon of ice cream, but no damn well she's about to go work never, out. I've never seen that fucking photo. <laughs> I don't lie. know. I'm about to say you a lie, bro. I was about to say pull that up right now. I need to see ah, that. Ah man, but she just, I don't never. She just, she just telling motherfuckers to be it's okay to be big, like it's is okay. But on the low, this motherfucker working out. You just think this motherfucker. Laid up like you laying up every night, just eating a motherfucking thing in the refrigerator and going to sleep. Nah, this nigga's working out. <laughs> How you know Lizzo working out, kid? That nigga working out, man. That nigga tone. That nigga, you ever see a deal or dance? Can't follow kick? Lizzo on the nah, low. Nah, I, I don't follow that motherfucker. You see, can't nobody who's just lazy go up on stage and do a dance routine. Uh, you're absolutely and, correct, yes. And be in breath. <laughs> I've seen big motherfuckers go up a small flight of stairs and look like they just ran the motherfucking Boston Marathon, like that was six stairs. Why the fuck? Why are you breathing that hard? Because that shit was hard, nigga. The fuck wrong with you? Like, why <laughs> are you complaining about your knees after you just walked up some stairs? Like was, that. That's that. No, weighed, that should. You be, told me to weigh two hundred and fifty pounds. That's why. <laughs> it should be nah, That that <laughs> that should be a concern. If your knees, if your knees are starting to tell you, like, look, man, I'm about yeah. to give out. I'm about to give up on you in life. <laughs> we about to real chair me back. Most <laughs> most people don't <laughs> they don't know because it takes years for their body to catch up with you know what you know it takes years for their bones and all that shit to catch up with what you've been putting on on your joints this whole time. So yeah. most people don't go to the doctors, especially bigger people. They don't go to the doctors, so they don't know what trouble they're having with their heart, all the organs that your your weight affects. You know what I mean? They don't know that they're having trouble with them until it's too late. And then it's like, oh, shit, let me get in shape or let me get the surgery or whatever, um, which, you know, you do what you do. I yeah, just say I, try to be as healthy as you can. If you love yourself, which you, you know, should work you on should. Loving yourself, then you should take care of yourself. It's all right. I, I just, it just, I just hate, hate body, and motherfuckers with this old term body shaming. Like, y'all still talk shit about an ugly motherfucker. I don't never see somebody talk about don't body shame me with an ugly nigga. What? All right, we looking at a <laughs> we looking at appearance. I'm just saying, are we looking at appearance? I'll give an ugly nigga a chance too. Uh, am I right? Or, am I wrong with what I'm saying? That, no, like I personal, said, that, personal preference is different than than that is saying. personal preference. If I look at this, if I see this motherfucker over here, if I see Grimace and if I see Rihanna body type, I'm going with Rihanna All body right. type over Grimace. No, I'm serious. I'm not dating somebody. Who looks like a professional wrestler over somebody who, <laughs> looks, who looks like a volleyball player? I'm serious. Like I'm going to take the volleyball player. I'm not going to take somebody who. I'm sorry. Real professional wrestling women are fit. It's crazy. Well. Super fit. No, no, they not. What I'm the talking about my fucking look about? like. To my Papa Shango. They look like Bam Bam Bigelow. I'm talking about they look like Bam Bam Bigelow, Bam Bam Bigelow. with a wig on. Motherfucking oh, uh, earthquake That's with a wig on. Motherfucking D Lo. What's the nigga D? Remember D Lo <laughs> or the Mark oh, Henry and shit? World strongest man. You seen a couple of Mark Mark Henry motherfuckers come out? <laughs> oh my gosh, man! I don't know how many times I see motherfuckers come out in that body suit and they. And hey, they ass cheeks is they body big as shit, but they ass cheeks is only four <laughs> inches wide. <laughs> that, I've seen that. I've two seen little that. ass cheeks with this with this little crack in the middle. Oh like, come God. on, man. We not. I'm look, not. Look like they I don't even want to. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like, like they're trying, like they, like they trying to fit through a line or something like that. You gonna suck in your butt, but you're not gonna suck in your gut. Gut. Yeah. Exactly. No, they can't do it. They can't do it because they the ass, they ass is putting so much strain on their body to keep their stomach from falling over that all the ass muscles are just pulling tight to keep them straight up in the air. Yeah, you know I mean, if they ass ever loose, look what you did! Look what you did! 
Oh my gosh, I'm not doing my Look at what you did. That nigga said the ass muscles is sucking. Look, 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 look. Now, look, now the listeners and the watchers know that Kev, Kev is a uh, fucking podcast. <laughs> damn boiler room. <laughs> oh, your whole background fell down. Did you get background fell down, Kev? <laughs> Oh and I'm just God. saying, that's why they ass cheeks look that big. Like, you look at them like, ain't nothing when you take off your clothes is going to be sexy. It's not. It's, oh, my God. It's not. <laughs> some people. Some it people. is. They, no, that it is. They ass cheeks is doing that. And then they knees, they knees oh is not, God. they knees but been in to keep the rest, the pressure up. You ever see how Bridges is built? Bridges is built with Yo, that V right. at the bottom. No, no, listen. I'm telling you, Bridges is built with that V at the bottom so it can oh take God, a stream, never an never. extreme load on top of it to keep the pressure up. You ever see it got the V like that? That's what oh your knees look like when they get too big. The knees lock in so they can keep keep that's, standing. That's true. That's a, that's, a health, that's a health issue. Like that's, Like your body is telling you a lot of shit. Your ass is sucked in, your knees is not. It's like, yo, oh we are doing everything we can to keep you upright right now. Help us. Help you. <laughs> so what can people do, man, to, oh to, to reverse this? Men and women, since you went in on women. I, yo, first thing, man, switch up what you eating, man. Kick. I, I know it's hard to say get rid of all the sugars, but Get rid of some of the sugars, a lot of sugars in your life. Start eating healthy sugars, man. Oh, shit. Don't eat before you go to bed at night. Like, try to eliminate that. And what have you, what have you been doing personally? Me personally, like, I I ha I don't eat at night. I tr I'm trying to get back on just a straight water shit. Um, chicken, no beef, because beef settles in your stomach. Beef stays in your system too long. It chicken, uh, chicken vegetables anything that like hot stuff in high fiber to push some of the shit out of your body like the bad shit out of your body flushing your body is a good thing flushing the uh, the pollutants out and all that stuff like that flushing the fat out through your system and shit like that exercising you know two or three times a week it don't gotta be nothing crazy i know you see my, just just do you just move your body put your body in motion you know what i'm saying start putting your body in motion let that shit get it to move you know, help yourself. You like you want to be here for people. Nobody, it ain't nobody's saying big is ugly because big is not ugly. Let's let's let, let's just knock that the fuck out the way to begin with. That big is not ugly, man. It is because there's a lot of big girls out there, sexy as fuck. Just like there's a lot of petite skinny women. That's oh my gosh. I mean, they they get yeah, your body nice, but yo. When you walk around the corner and I see the rest of your head, it's, it's like I don't understand why you single. Nah, I, I seen one. I seen one yesterday. You see the body, like I'm like, damn. You see the face, you're like, damn. It's like those are two completely different dams for sure. Yeah, it was. It was like, man, like a nigga, I'd be confident in dating you. Like he always got to reiterate with his homies, like her ass is fat. Which is a hard sell. I've been there. I dated a motherfucker with a fat ass. Oh my god! Days. <laughs> and I had to reiterate that shit all the time. Like that should get old after a while. But yeah, but um, you know, eat a little healthy. <laughs> Your words, exercise, <laughs> exercise. I'm just telling people, exercise. Do something. Move around. Get active. If you got smaller kids, man, take them to the park. Be active with them. They they keep your body in motion. Just do a little something. I ain't trying to tell you to go out there. If you want to go ham nut with the health shit, by all means, do so. Stop thinking that there's some magical pill. Oh, I'm taking this pill that I seen on TV. Said I lose 20 pounds, and then you go eat a whole fucking half of chicken. Yeah, if you eat a whole half of chicken before you go to sleep. That shit don't work like that. It don't work like that. You can't keep up eating and living the lifestyle you're living because you're taking the pill. The fucking body contours and belly bands and shit. That shit comes with exercise. Mm -hmm. All you're going to do is just heat up some... You're just going to be stanking. You're just going to heat something up right. that ain't burning... You're not burning no fat. Not not real shit. You're not burning no fat just because you wear a belly band. You got to do a little bit of exercise with that shit. Oh, you're going to be doing a stanking. <laughs> Yo, you hear this nigga like, I think he's saying some real shit. And he's just going to that. 
Nah, I'm saying. The, the bro, that don't make it better because you say I'm saying. Go ahead, <laughs> we know you wearing, said it. That's why it's the problem. Wearing, wearing belly bees like the lady did yesterday, that don't make your stomach go down. Now, stop believing in all that. Listen, it's good to be in touch with our African roots and all that shit. But them women over in Africa that wear them belly bees are eating completely different shit than we eat. And they ain't eating no, uh, what's that shit called? Uh, when it's injected with shit to make it la- last longer, um, I That's, uh, I preservatives know. and shit like that. They eat they eat natural shit from the earth. Ain't mm-hmm. no preservative in in it. The the, the the chicken they eating, they ain't eating no processed fucking pellets. They eating bugs off the ground, so they eat completely different. And they're active every day. They can wear the belly bees. Yeah, it looks like it shrink their stomach. You eat in some Doritos. And uh, fucking a fucking meal talk. you got from Burger King and shit like that, and you think you're gonna wear some belly beads and your stomach gonna go down? <laughs> you're just gonna be out this bitch looking like Saturn. That's all I can say. <laughs> like, real shit. Like, take care of your body, man. Your body's your temple, man. What you put into it, you put good shit in your temple, you get good results. That's all I'm saying. We could have edited it all that out wow. and just put that part there. That would have been fine. Wow. The whole <laughs> wow. Jesus Christ, bro. Yeah. Nah, I just say how I feel, man. Yeah, bro, it's, I, over. I, it's, it's over. It's over yeah. before you get going uh, again. Yeah, it's a wrap for that. <laughs> all right. Yeah, it's, it's another episode of PNA the podcast. Take care of your bodies <laughs> and your temples. Yeah. Judge your fingers under your breasts. <laughs> <laughs>